Hey everybody, I'm Will Swenson. And I'm Audra McDonald. Like so many others across the country, students in the East Chester High School Players Club Spring Musical never saw their curtain rise on opening night. The seniors, some of whom have been in the club for seven years, missed their last song, their last dance, last after show at Fridays, and above all, their final senior moment on the stage. Tonight, we celebrate the Players Club class of 2020 as they share a few of their songs and their memories of nights under the stage lights. This is your final bow. Sparkle. And now, Shannon Pepper. Did I so much a question of not knowing what to do? I know what's right and wrong since I've been ten. I heard a lot of stories and I reckon they are true about how girls are put upon by men. I know I must ain't fall into the pit, but when I'm with a feller, I forget. <laughs> I'm just a girl who can't say no. I'm in a terrible fix. I always say, come on, let's go. Just when I ought to say next. When a person tries to kiss a girl, I know she ought to give his face a smack. But as soon as someone kisses me, I somehow sort of want to kiss him back. I'm just a fool when lights are low. I can't be prissy and quaint. I ain't the type that can faint. How can I be what I ain't? I can't say no. What you gonna do when a fella gets flirty and starts to talk wordy? What you gonna do? Supposing that he says that your lips are like cherries, or roses, or berries. What you gonna do? Supposing that he says that you're sweeter than cream, and he's gonna have cream or dark. What you gonna do when he takes that away? Spit in his eye! I'm just a girl who can't say no, can't seem to say it at all. Velveteen settee, and then I think of that old golden rule and do for him what he would do for me. I can't resist a Romeo and a sombrero and chaps. Soon as I sit in their laps, something inside of me snaps. I can't say no. Players Club memories was when I lost my voice before Mama Mia and I had to go on stage and announce myself when I sounded like a frog. Amy Cavanero!
rice pick in my eye. I could eat some fish from last July, but it wouldn't be as awful as a summer in Ohio without cable, hot water, Vietnamese food, or you. I saw your book at a Target in Kentucky under a sign that said new and recommended. I stole a look at your picture on the inside sleeve and then I couldn't leave. Richard, who was with me, got in characteristically quiet and he said, all things considered, I guess you don't have to buy it. So I smiled like Mona Lisa and I laid my visa down. He wants me, he wants me, but he ain't gonna get me. I found One of my favorite memories from Players Club is when I was a freshman and we were doing Way Miz for the spring musical and I was playing Cosette and it was opening night, the Friday night show. I was so excited, so ready. Uh, I went on for one of my songs and I opened my mouth and realized my microphone was not on. I completely freaked out. I literally did not know what to do. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to go off stage halfway through the scene and have someone turn on my microphone because it was switched off somehow. I don't know how. But I went on and continued the scene and even though it went smoothly, I was still devastated that my microphone was not on for the first half of the song. So I came off stage and immediately started bawling my eyes out. But I walked into the band room where the rest of the cast was staying and they all started clapping and cheering for me and it made me cry even more. But it made me realize how incredible the whole environment of Players Club is and how supportive everybody is. And I will 100% not forget what happened that night. And I just love Players Club so much. job 
and you'll instantly get me involved. If you give me a job, then the rest of the crap will get solved. Put me to work, you would think that by now I'm allowed. I'll do you proud. Throw me a rope to grab onto. Help me to prove that I'm strong. Give me the chance to look forward to saying, Hey, listen, they're playing my song. Play me the music. Give me the chance to come through. All I ever needed was the music and the mirror and the chance to dance. Play me the music. Play Play me the music Give me the chance to come through All I ever needed Was the music and the mirror And the chance to favorite Players Club memory is doing the middle school run through for the first time. Uh, my junior year was the show was Peter and the Starcatcher. We got to run through the middle school halls during lunch and <laughs> advertise for the show and it was by far some of the most fun I've had. The ladies and gentlemen, Emma Cops. Hi, I'm Emma Copps, and this is The Beauty Is From The Light In The Piazza.
Jenna Ginsburg. Maybe this time I'll be lucky Maybe this time he'll stay Maybe this time For the first time Love won't hurry Like the last time and the time before Everybody loves a winner So nobody loved me Love's a winner, so nobody loved me. Lady peaceful, lady happy, that's what I long to be. All the odds are, they're in my favor. Hi guys, it's Maho, your stage manager. <laughs> um, one of my favorite memories from Players Club is it was from one of the leading ladies rehearsals when the, an actor got a cut on his face. And since I had a first aid kit in my bag, I took out a band-aid and I offered it to him. And John just looks at me and he goes, Maho, no other stage manager has ever done that before. Like have a first aid kit, that's really cool. And then everyone was like, yeah, Maho. And I was like, oh, wow, that makes me feel so proud. Like, it makes me feel like I'm doing my job right. And I was like, yeah, stage manager, proud times. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's the little moments like that that really made this club feel personal and so special to me. And I'll definitely miss it. So, love you, Players Club. And now, Juliana DiDomonico. When I was five, I fell in love. It didn't last. He ran from me, literally ran from me. And being Kenyan, he ran fast. When I was 10, in love again. This Peace Corps guy. I waited hours inside his tent with flowers, which made him laugh, which made me cry. By 13, I gave up trying. I decided I would be a mathematician. Cause
remind you of my love. Da 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 So possibly my favorite musical in the Players Club has got to be Fiddler on the Roof. It has great, lively music, wonderful dance numbers, especially the opening tradition sequence. It was also my favorite one in terms of lines and jokes and everything in between. It has everything you need for a musical and everything for a comedy as well. Something that I think... Mr. Goriak was good at putting on. And now, Amy Cardolano. <laughs> Jerk. And now, Amy Cardolano. Way, way back in 2006, I went to see my very first Players Club musical, Seussical the Musical. And little four-year-old Amy was completely obsessed with Gertrude McFuzz. There once was a girl, her name Gertrude McFuzz. That was me. So anyway, I thought that it would be full circle if I sang one of the songs from that show that was my first encounter with the Players Club. Psst! Torton! Torton, are you there? Huh? Oh, hello, Gertrude. Hi. I had a little trouble because I grew a little tail. Well, it wasn't really little, it was absolutely giant and it really was attractive, but you never even noticed, so I felt a little silly even trying. Besides which, the tail was too heavy for normal flying. So she ran to the doctor, the doctor named Dake, and she said, My tail has been a mistake! And she said, Dr. Dake, I've been foolish and vain. Pluck it out, get it off, I won't do it. Pluck, pluck, pluck. Ouch, it hurt a lot. Pluck, pluck, pluck. Ooh, a tender spot. Pluck, pluck, pluck. Just one feather tail. But suddenly, Gertrude could sail. I sailed on a chunk and was practically sunk for you. I trampled through the trees full of furious bees for you. Choking smug down a sloggy slope to a stinking bog where my slip was gripped by a vicious dog. For you, all for you, all for you. There is nothing that I wouldn't, and I couldn't, and I haven't gone through. I galloped through the snow in eleven below. Even though I knew I was catching the flu for you. Not you! Now here I am, the worst for wear, and here you are. I'm here! You're, you're there. there! And baby, now you'll know I care for you. Oh, yeah. And Horton, one more thing. It took me seven weeks, but I found your clover. 
it's an honor to introduce in their final performance as current Players Club members, the seniors of the class of 2020 performing the traditional goodbye song. We'll miss you guys. We love you. Love you. Mwah. We're a diverse group of seniors all to be in one place just to put on great shows for you. But to be in this club, there's one way we're the same. We're all just a bit cuckoo. The shows were cool, I leave them with the saffron. I did three, if you count your intel. <laughs> Goodbye is hard, I mean I grew up here in Plagger's Club. This is my seventh year. <laughs> Since 11th grade, if I took it and ran, my college would be paid. In shows, I'm loud. My voice is like a hammer. At games, I'm known as Mr. Spangled Banner. At first I thought the stage crew was my speed, but now I know the spotlight's what I need. For three years now I've done publicity. When a show sold out, it's all because of me. For years I've done musicals in spring, but Les Mis was my favorite show to sing. <laughs> John seen me cry more than you'll ever know, and he will again, cause now it's time to go. <laughs> My voice is hot. <laughs> With cheering and musicals, high school has been fun. It was too soon for it all to be done. <laughs> I liked the shows, it's like a second home, but no one said I'd have to sing alone. I've had fun, I'm sad to see it end. I have enjoyed acting with my friends. <laughs> Being secretary meant two years with no rest, but John has said that I was the best. <laughs> I've been stage manager, in case you might not know, it's not John but me who really runs the show. <laughs> 